when you fail in an exam, you do not get promoted. Even school kids know this. But if you're Pakistan, and the one evaluating you is the Financial Action Task Force, the FATF, then you'll have ample time to keep failing again and again. Today, the FATF led off Pakistan with a warning for not controlling terror funding. This is a farce like no other. For months, Pakistan has been on the verge of getting blacklisted. Now, the FATF says that Pakistan has not made enough progress, and yet it remains on the grey list. Pakistan's failure to fulfill the FATF global standards is an issue we take very seriously. As a result, the FATF is giving this very clear warning. If by February 2020, the country has not made significant progress, we would consider further actions, which could potentially include placing the country on the public statement. No progress, but take your time. This is a farce, not a decision. Islamabad had 16 months to clean up its act. Now they've, they've been given four more. February 2020 is the new deadline. Pakistan had 27 action points. It failed on 22, and yet it got an extension on the grey list because the FATF says its purpose is not to punish any country, but to incentivize progress. The fact is that Pakistan is making progress in the negative. Look at it. They arrested Hafiz Saeed days before Imran Khan met Trump in August. And before the United Nations General Assembly, four aides of Hafiz Saeed were also arrested. That is all they've done. Last year, Pakistan had failed on 21 out of 27 action points. This year, 22 out of 27. It is doing worse. So much for progress. So what was the point of today's decision? Basically, it was another warning for Pakistan, a more stringent and hopefully one last warning. But why is the FATF cutting Pakistan so much slack? The answer is a five-letter word, China. China heads the FATF meeting, so Pakistan escapes. What about the FATF's credibility? Here, I digress, and I want to raise a question. Would the FATF have done the same with North Korea or Iran? Would the world have allowed someone like Osama bin Laden to get away with a color-coded list? I mean, the FATF is about countries, but still, terrorism is terrorism. This hypocrisy is mind-numbing. Is it not a shame that a global body deciding on terrorism will turn a blind eye to a country that is the epicenter of terror? What message does it send to the rest of the world? If you have the backing of China, you can get away with anything, even terror. We leave you with these questions to ponder upon. Our verdict is this. The FATF should grow some spine before it adjudicates on terrorism.